So today I wanted to share my October favorites with you guys and I know that I'm like midway into November already but I really wanted to share the products that I've been loving in the month of October because honestly monthly favorites is like my favorite type of video to watch on YouTube. I've discovered so many people because I'll just like put in you know YouTube um, monthly favorites like October favorites and I discover so many new people that way. So I really wanted to share the products that I've been loving this month. Um, so I apologize that this video is going up so late, but I really want to share all these amazing products. And also, if I'm like a little bit like, uh, like crazy right now, I've had two cups of coffee this morning and I've been drinking coffee. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just black, straight up black. And I never thought I would be the type of person that would just drink like black coffee, but I started to, I don't know why or how it started. Um, and then I was just like, oh my god, it's actually so much better this way. I actually really love the taste of coffee. And I'm the type of person that has to have a cup of coffee every morning before, like, I cannot start physically working unless I have coffee. So I'm just drinking it, I've just been drinking it black and I really, really like it. Not that that's a monthly favorite. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, the first thing that I've been loving this month is the Tarte Guard. This is the sunscreen lotion from Tarte with an SPF of 30. I really really like this I actually had a tiny little sample of it from Sephora that I got and I really liked how light it was and it didn't feel like a true sunscreen because it wasn't it didn't give you that like ghosty look of course there is a little bit of that white cast but it's not like super intense like other sunscreen lotions so I really really like this and I've really tried to make myself use this on a daily basis because I know how important it is to use a sunscreen even in the winter time so I really like this mainly because well besides the fact it's so stinging cute I love the purple packaging they totally sold me on the packaging but besides that it's really important to use a sunscreen so love this one because it's like really lightweight so yeah this is the Tarte Guard from Tarte Cosmetics a lot of the products I'm going to be sharing with you guys are is from my Ipsy haul my Ipsy swag bag haul so if you haven't seen that video I will link it in the down bar so I finally am getting around to trying everything anyway in that bag we did receive the Nirvana perfume from Elizabeth and James that is Mary Kay Nashi Olsen's line I think Elizabeth and James are like their other siblings so I think that's really cute. Anyway, this is the white perfume. We had, we got both. And oh my gosh, I love this white perfume. It smells so good. I'm not even going to attempt to tell you guys what it smells like. It's so, it's so strong. It stays on from morning to night. Like everywhere I go when I wear this, people ask me, what perfume are you wearing? And I can smell it on myself. I almost can never smell a perfume on myself. People usually will smell it on me, but for some reason with this one, I get whiffs of it myself. So I really, really like it. It is very strong, but it's not like insanely overpowering. I just love this and I love the packaging as well. I just think it's so sticky and cute. So I love, love, love the white Nirvana from Elizabeth and James. Okay, next thing that I've been loving is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now, if you guys watch my makeup tutorials, you probably have seen me use this so much recently. I love this mascara. It, it, it's awesome. It's what I have on my lashes today. Now, when I first tried this, I really didn't like it. I thought it was kind of clumpy. But you know how it is with new mascaras. You need to give it a full week, and then you really get to see if the mascara is good or not. And I love this. Now, I'm not a big fan of ginormous brushes. I like my brushes to be pretty small. Not small, but like medium size. And this is exactly that. I don't know what it is, but it makes my lashes look so black. I'm going to get a close-up so you guys can see. See how like it really separates the lashes and really kind of makes them look super long? Oh my gosh, I see a spider. I'm going to be right back. Sorry about that guys, there was like a tiny little spider but it was dead. I was just like, and I'm not really afraid of spiders, I just don't want it to have babies all over my house, so I just freaked out but it was already dead sadly. But anyway, um, what was I saying about this? Oh yeah, so I love this mascara because it really really separates my lashes, makes them super long, gives them a lot of volume and um, it makes them look really 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 black. So I really love this and Essence is really inexpensive for anyone that's wondering as well. So check, check that out at your local Ulta. Okay, next thing is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner. Now you guys know I always use my 
black track fluid line from mac i'm such a gel eyeliner girl like and i've always just used the same one because i'm always like if it's not broken why fix it like i literally only use the black track fluid line and i've used that for years now but i got this in the um ipsy swag bag and i was just like all right i'm gonna try it and i really really like this i'm gonna see if i can insert a clip for my latest tutorial somewhere in the video so you guys can see how easily it applies like literally if you have a hard time creating like a winged eye liner get something like this and i specifically recommend the jesse's girl one only because it's so inexpensive so even if you don't like it you don't have to feel too bad about it because like it's like three dollars or something um it makes it really 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 easy to apply and get that really nice wing because you get so much control um so you guys can see the brush here let me see if i can it's not like too flimsy like it's a nice brush so you do get a nice control with this so i really have been loving this next i've been loving oh my gosh this is like amazing this is the got to be powerful what is this called powerful volumizing styling powder now i use this in one of my tutorials um like my hair straightening tutorial i love this so much basically what you do with this is you put it in your roots and then you just like kind of go like you just go like this okay i'm gonna do it actually right now even though i have lotion on my hands so it's a powder you put it in your hand so it looks white and then you just like rub your hands together and then you just kind of put it in your roots and you instantly get like so much volume like okay it's probably not even gonna look like anything right now because i'm i have lotion on my hands okay maybe it does do you guys see that like my hair was so flat and instantly you get so much volume with this stuff now of course if you want you can like you know put this directly on your head but when i did that you guys my hair it was ridiculous my hair went from like down to like here so i would okay maybe not that much but it did go up a lot so i wouldn't recommend just putting it straight in your hair but the way that i just showed you rubbing it into your hands and then put, putting it in your hair is awesome so really really love this and this was like I think I picked this up from Ulta. I think it was like six dollars, six or seven dollars. So, and you only need a little bit. So, this is awesome. Okay, so the next two products are from Derma E, which I also discovered in Ipsy or the Generation Beauty. Um, they actually gave us this uh, purifying two-in-one charcoal mask. I love charcoal masks. They are my favorite to use, even though this is ideal if you have normal to oily skin because it does dry out your face. But I love using this even though I have really dry skin because I feel like this really pulls the dirt out of my skin. And when I wash my face with this mask, I literally feel like my skin looks so bright. So I've been doing this once a week. I haven't been using any of the masks and I've really, really, really fallen in love with this. So I would really recommend this to anybody that is looking for a really good face mask that actually really deep cleans your face and almost gives you that like a new skin feel i really recommend this and although it's meant for anyone that has normal to oily skin i have dry skin i use it so maybe if you have dry skin you will also like this okay the next thing that i've been loving is actually something that derma you sent to me and this is well they sent me like a big box but I, I'm still going through everything, so I can't tell you if I what I like and what I don't like. But you probably will see it in future videos. But this is the Hydrating Mist. And this is meant for people with normal to dry skin. And I really, really love this. So think of this like a Fix Plus or where is my other one from Philosophy? Okay, I don't have that with me. It's just like a setting spray or like a refreshing spray or like any sort of spray, you know, to set your makeup, to prime your face. It's exactly that and I really like this because it smells so good so I'm just gonna spray this on my face it smells so nice it feels really light on the skin and I actually do feel like it really hydrates my skin so I've been using this I just keep this in my bag I've been using this before makeup applications and also before I go to bed at night I just spray this all over my face and then I apply my um, my moisturizer so i really have been loving this a really nice just refresher if you guys need the next thing that i've been loving is the new or i don't know if it's new but it's new to me the new um deep cleansing gel from 
real techniques and a lot of you guys have asked me to do a video on how I deep clean my brushes or just clean my brushes my makeup brushes and I never got around to doing it and there's so many videos on YouTube the way that I used to do it is our yes the way I used to do it is using my face wash my Neutrogena face wash I would put it on a plate put a little bit of olive oil in it and just rub it in um, and clean deep clean my brushes that way now I'm gonna be 100% honest with you it cleans your brushes immaculately like there is nothing left on your brushes when I did my green uh, poison ivy look I did use that method and my brushes were like sparkling clean but but I did notice that even with the olive oil, it did dry out my natural hair brushes. So anything like, oh, it's so dirty right now. This is a natural hair. This is gold hair, I believe. Um, let me see if I have more. Anyway, there's more brushes um, like this, especially from MAC and Sigma, that would feel really, really dry, like the bristles. So I knew I needed something a little bit more gentle, which is why I got this. And I really like this. It's a massive like bottle, so you only need a little bit. And I, it does clean your brushes really, really thoroughly, but it's really gentle on your brushes. I feel like it almost conditions your brushes as well as cleaning it. I don't mix olive oil with this. I just clean my brushes straight up with this, and I really love the results. So Real Techniques, you never disappoint. Actually, I have a few other products from Real Techniques, so let's just do that. I've also been loving the blush brush from Real Techniques and I used to use this for my for all over face powder you probably have seen me use that before so I would just apply my face powder for all over my face with this brush and it works really really nicely like it works really nice but recently I have been using this as a true blush brush and it works even better all right guys so my camera totally died and then i had to let my battery charge for like half an hour and i'm back and i'm at like 12 percent so i really gotta rush through the rest of the video okay so what i was saying about these two brushes is that this is one of my favorite brushes from mac for my blush because it's so precise but then you really have to do the the work yourself and really blend out the blush even on your cheeks Whereas this blush brush from Real Techniques does the blending for you. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. And actually I'm going to use one of my other favorite products which I was just going to mention. This is the Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte in the shade Blushing Bride. It is the most beautiful dusty rose ever. I can see this color looking good on almost every single skin tone. It's just beautiful and it's not too pink. It's just gorgeous. Anyway. So this is one of my favorites, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys, even though I have blush on, you just need to put it on your cheeks like that and that's it. It blends it out for you because it's so nice and fluffy. So love, love, love this brush for actual blush. My next favorite is my brand new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I actually think that this is a brand new foundation for NARS as well. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Now, this is one shade too dark for me. I am in, this is the shade Syracuse, and then it does say medium dark one on the bottom as well. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, probably not, because what I did was, I have the concealer somewhere here. I actually went ahead and put on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this is actually like so light for my skin, but I made this foundation work with that concealer because it kind of made it look a little bit brighter but nevertheless i absolutely adore the formula of this foundation it is amazing it's so long lasting it is so natural looking into your on your skin it blends right in i, I know i said it's a little bit too dark for me but it blends right into my skin it just looks so 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 beautiful I do want to show you guys like the actual packaging there is like this little stick applicator which I've never really seen in a foundation before so that's a little bit interesting I don't mind it at all I wish there was a pump but that's okay um, overall I just love the formula if you want if you guys want to see a full-on review like in-depth review and demo let me know in the comments below and I'm more than happy to do it because seriously adore this okay now the last two items are both lip products so the first one is what i'm wearing on my lips today this is the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade prog i think that's how you say it also if you guys need to know the number on the bottom it says sml c18 so yeah that is this color here the reason why i picked this up was because i needed a berry lip for my tutorial which will be up 
tomorrow, I think. Um, so I saw this and I thought it was so pretty. I actually already own a few of the um, soft matte lip creams and I love the formula because they are so pigmented and they don't feel dry on your lips. Like literally you need one swatch. I'm going to show you guys. So that wasn't a good swatch, but it's really, really pigmented and they're very long lasting so you can eat and drink with them. And I think this was about like $4, 4 or $5. And of course you can use buy one, get one half off. So if you're looking for a really nice berry lip, especially for the fall season, I really recommend this one from NYX Cosmetics. And last but not the least, I have been loving this Jordana lip liner in the shade Cabernet. And I was looking for a really dark lip liner and I couldn't find one. And then I just saw this um, in my local, I think I picked this up from Rite Aid. And I was like, this is, oh no, Dwayne Reed. And I thought this was perfect. So this is what it looks like right there. It's a gorgeous wine shade. Did I already tell you it's called Cabernet? Um, it's a really pretty wine shade but it's not like insanely dark, so it's still very wearable, which is why I love this so, so much. Jordana is really inexpensive. I think this was about two or three dollars, and it's actually really long lasting. I'm gonna see if I can just put some on right now with this lip, just so you guys can see the color. Okay. I totally ruined my lip, didn't I? But anyway, you guys get the point. It's a really pretty wine lip pencil, and it will match most of your dark lips. I love wearing this with Max Diva. It matches perfectly, so I really recommend this if you're looking for a nice, inexpensive dark lip liner. And that is it for my October favorites. Please let me know the products that you guys have been loving. Actually, I would love it if you can list five of your recent favorite products. It doesn't just have to be beauty. Just list it in the down bar because you guys always have the best recommendations I have seriously picked up so many amazing products from your recommendations so I would love to know what you guys have been loving and I hope you guys had a great Halloween if you celebrate it and yeah this is everything that I've been loving um, don't forget to check out my blog because a lot of these products I will be reviewing on my blog as well I will leave it in the down bar please thumbs up this video it really helps me out and subscribe and I will talk to you guys very soon Bye.